the next problem before starting today's tutorial if you are new for educational tube please make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel in order to access a free engineering problem solutions and free tutorials that are very important for university students and for high school and preparatory student and if you can see all the last chapter problem solution i recommend to see that problem solution and come back here again i put the link on the description box so uh when you can see this problem this problem is all about the uh, concept of the time derivative of vector you are familiar for the time derivative of the vector vector its vector may be acceleration velocity displacement or other so the time derivatives of vectors are very important concept in this chapter so we must use the concept of differentiation and integration and we can solve this uh, problem simply uh, when you can see this problem, the velocity of the particle is given by v equals to t over 5t square minus 18t minus 200, where v is in feet per second and t is in second, and we can ask to determine in order to plot the velocity versus time graph and the acceleration versus time graph for the first six second of the motion and evaluate the velocity when the acceleration is zero. It is very simple when you can understand the concept of the time derivatives of vectors. When you can uh, see the solution of this problem, the gravity velocity and time is drawn by evaluating uh, the uh, velocity of the particle uh, by uh, substituting the value from t1 up to t6 uh, and uh, then finally we can we, we finally we can plot the graph by connecting the point when at time t1 we can get the respective velocity of v1 and for t2 we can get the respective velocity of t2 and uh, continue until t equals to 6 so uh, first we can substitute the value of t from 1 out to 6 and we can get the velocity v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 and v6 then finally we can plot the uh, uh, graph simply as you can see here we can given velocity is equal to 25 t square minus 18 t minus 200 you can substitute the time t 1 up to 6 uh, in this equation and you get when you can substitute t1 you will get to minus 255 a uh, feet per second square when you can substitute this you can get this value and when you can substitute t3 you can get this value when you can substitute t4 we can get minus 120 and when you can uh, get t5 and 6 we can get 25 and 220 uh, respectively so after this we can uh, simply draw the graph uh, in order to graph the uh, point or in order to plot the graph we must draw the coordinate axis and we must join the points that are one comma one in the t axis and uh, minus 250 in the v axis and those points are uh, very important in order to draw the graph finally we can uh, draw the graph like this when you can uh, in this direction you can have a velocity and in the horizontal direction we can uh, get a time so it is very uh, easy step first we can substitute the value t from one up to six and we can get the velocity of the particle with that time and after this we can simply draw the velocity uh, versus time graph then we can uh, draw the acceleration versus time graph by using the concept of differentiation as you know the first derivative of velocity with respect to time is acceleration or the second derivative of uh, displacement or position with respect to time is acceleration so uh, by using either of the two methods we can get the acceleration from t1 up to c6 and we can finally simply draw the accelerations or the acceleration versus time graph of this particular motion so acceleration is equal to the derivative of velocity with respect to time which means when you can uh, differentiate the given equation of velocity you can get 15 t minus 18 when you can substitute t out to 0 out to 6 when you can substitute t out to 0 we can get minus 18 when you can substitute t1 we can get minus 13 and uh, when you can uh, substitute t2 we can get t1 uh, t3 we can get 70 uh, and finally we can substitute t4 t5 and t6 we will get 100 t1 170 and 200 t1 respectively after this we can get this point and we can simply plot the graph like this so it's look like uh, a uniformly uh, 